review. See how live we are. All right. All right. I guess you can start. Yeah, <laughs> we are live. We are live. Max Profit here and good friend of mine, Juan. Juan, and he's big Lego seller and actually toy seller. And in today's show. Uh, we're gonna explain to you something about selling the toy, what to sell, how to sell. He brings some stuff which I'm really excited about a lot of those items because they go for $200, <laughs> very tiny, small, I would say almost nothing, but expensive. And uh, of course I mess up again something, which was setting up the live show and it's showing, my friend he just sent me the message that it, it was showing that it's, we're gonna be live at 10 o'clock, but actually we are live now. So again, Max Profit mess up something, uh, but we're gonna get better, of course. Uh, so let us know, guys, who, whatever who is there. If we got somebody in the chat, hustle, grind, Calgary. Hey, how is everything in Calgary? Must be cold, right? Yellow fire, big pony style. Uh, so, guys, let us know if everything is okay, if the picture is okay, and the sound. Uh, and today it's a Wednesday, 8 p.m. This is when we're going to do show every single Wednesday, 8 p.m. So you guys are more than welcome. So let's see what else is here. So let us know if everything is okay with the sound and, and picture. Uh, and you know what? Let's start actually. We will see. We're going to wait. All, all is good. Okay, so all is good. Kelly. Hey, Kelly. How is everything? <laughs> Kelly. Salut. Nazrave. Uh, Nazrave, right. <laughs> and salut. We have a beer here. So guys, if you can, go grab some beer. Uh, vodka, beer. Join us for a little drink. Yeah, join us for a little drink because we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have some fun, definitely. Oh, the true is here, finally. The true. I was missing you because you are with me since... Since I started my YouTube channel, that guy, the mm -hmm. truth, you are with me since I started my YouTube channel, so you know all my starting, why I go through my Amazon private label, messing him up, losing $15,000 in Amazon, <laughs> private label, but now, you know, we are two here, and so two heads are more than one, right? All good. So, one, introduce yourself to to subscribers, to our people, and what you um, do, how you do, and something about when did you start reselling, how did you start reselling, why you, do you like reselling? <laughs> I love reselling. It gives me the flexibility to be at home and uh, get things done that need to get done, and you still get to make some money. And doing what you like, you know, which is everybody loves the hunt. Yeah. Um... I've been doing it for a few years, but full time for about a year now, since I went full time, quit my full time job last April. Um, if you guys want to know a little bit more, he's got another video where we did an interview. Yeah, there in is one more. Yeah, there is one more video over there, and uh, I think it called Lego Flips or something like that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, and there I interview one over there about why he started, what he started. So everything is there. So if you want to know more about one about his. His warehouse, what he got over there, how much stuff he got over there. Just definitely go there and check it out because it's definitely worth it. There are some really nice show up what to, how to flip Lego, right? Or how, where yeah. to start actually. So that was yeah. that, that was very interesting. It's a basic I, basic little mm -hmm. things. Of yeah, what because to do. right away we have a one girl and she said that she just purchased big beans of Lego. She don't know what to do with the <laughs> Lego, and yeah. because she watched your your video about you know, uh -huh. the Lego. She has she figured out right the way okay. what to do how to do so it's that work it's yeah, work just it's like working. anything else <laughs> it's like real job so. to make money you have to work yep you know um, but I do a lot of toys very minimal clothes unless you know I see something really specific mm -hmm. um, but I love toys you know vintage toys 
new toys, mm -hmm. just whatever looks good to me. Yeah. And yeah, so you definitely. don't know what it is, you just look it up on your phone right away. Yeah, definitely. So guys, if you like the video, uh, of course we're just starting right now, right? So what to like? So if you <laughs> like beer, if you like beer, give a big like, um, subscribe to our channel, you're gonna have more beer. And uh, we're gonna continue, so let's see. One, he brings some, some toys with him and something what he found recently. So we're gonna start and I'm gonna show you guys uh, sold listing. So how much those things was sold for on eBay and he got here with him. So we're gonna go there and I'm gonna show it's you and he's gonna show you exactly oh. what he got. And sometimes I do do shoes. Um, these were purchased for $15. Uh -huh. Yep. And a 20% coupon knocked them down to maybe like around 12 bucks. And I know boots, being Mexican and having about six other pairs at home. <laughs> um, so right when you see the Tony Lama brand, yeah, I don't know if you they're, can they're see not, that. They're not going to see. Okay. But it's inside. Tony Lama is going to say it's inside. Tony, Tony Lama and it's full quill ostrich. There's a difference between smooth ostrich and full quill. Full quill is the one that's got the little bumps so where that the feathers go. So then it's a really important put in your title, right? Full quill. Full quill yeah. ostrich. Because yeah. that's going to make different in price. Makes a big but difference in price. What's the difference in price? If I'm going to mess up, let's say I have those kind of boots and I'm going to mess up my title. I'm going to not put full. Used ones, I think you're going to lose at least $50, $60. Just because mess up title. Yeah. I bought some on eBay uh, yeah. because somebody put smooth ostrich when they were full quill. Uh -huh. And I bought them for myself. <laughs> so smooth ostrich is cheaper. Yeah. Correct, right? Yeah. So guys, of course, make sure you're going to put the right title, especially for those kind of boots, because you can, your price is going to drop $50 and you're going to mess up. Another item, what we got here. Oh, this is something that I'm going to start at a toy show at the end of the month. But oh, by the way, one, he's doing toy shows, right? Yep, April there. 28th at the Kane County Fairgrounds in St. Charles. Yeah. But this is something I bought for twenty dollars, and again coupon minus twenty percent. Wow. You're down to sixteen, seventeen dollars with tax. Pretty much came assembled with the instruction booklet in there. So instruction and is important, right? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You lose with these kind of sets. You lose the instruction books. You know, another forty bucks, fifty bucks. Instruction books is gonna make different with something them. like this. Oh yeah, with okay. literal literal sets, it may only maybe five ten bucks. So with the building, depends on the set. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So with the building, so maybe if I'm gonna find something like that, but how I'm gonna know that is exactly everything there if I'm not gonna have instruction, right? Right. You could always go online and find it, but like my girls say, they like building it with the book yeah, instead yeah, of the yeah, computer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you can see the sold on that. But it, that isn't my sold, but uh -huh. somebody else sold. That somebody else is sold for two hundred eighty five. Wow. So, can't beat that. Oh, look at that. That one. Where is that bad boy, girl? What is it? That's look right here. at that. That one in that listing is a used one with tags. And this is a brand new without tags. You know, the inside's super clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look how white that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. But Guys, <laughs> if you like what you see, because I really like it. Hit the like button because that's going to push that video forward and we're going to have more fun. And being a Bulls fan and always wanting this hat when I was younger, I want to keep this and just display it. But Alex said sell it. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Alex. But I think I'm keeping it. <laughs> After the wife sees this, she's probably going to say sell it too. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, when Alex. This is a keeper. Yes, yes, yes. When Alex, when she sold this hat and how much they go for. She was today like, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. <laughs> you see, so I don't know, but I don't think so. Okay. Next what else item. Do we got? Oh. Just wow. looking at that hat, wow. you wouldn't know it's a Bulls championship hat. But when you really think about it, it just says, just did it, which is Nike, just do it. But it says again, again, and again, 1993. So this is actually Bull. It's a Bulls championship because they won it three times in a row. So that's why so, it says again, again, again. and again. So because they won three, it in 91, okay. 92, 93, 93, and that's why it says 93. Wow. And this one, same thing. It's brand new but without tags. You got an old uh -huh. Nike. Yeah. 
It's hard to see, but that's yeah. fine. But uh, you could, that's not my sold listing, mm -hmm. but that sold for a hundred bucks. So mm -hmm. nice. This one, this one. Very I'll nice. Sell. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that one I could part with. Yeah. Um, okay. A Lego. Lego. Set. Once again, that is not my sold listing. I still have it here. And you can see I paid ten dollars. Ten dollars. Wow! 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 Did you already check if everything is there or not really? About yet. Half of it uh, uh -huh. is still in the bags. Wow. And the other half is here. Okay. okay. But uh -huh. um. What do you guys it's think? It's worth. It? What do you guys think? Everything is there or not? I would say yes. <laughs> it sells for two forty-five. So I'll spend the hour to build it uh -huh. to make mm -hmm. sure it's complete. If so not, gonna, I'm gonna have to sell it. Yeah. Without cars. knowing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah so yes, 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 I'll yes. spend the hour to build it, and I enjoy mm -hmm. building it. Definitely. So it's definitely worth it. So let's see who we, if it's somebody in the chat. Who is there? That ah, still are all people. Okay. Good, good, good. Nothing's changed. We're gonna have a little beer. Let's have a beer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. I hope you like what you see now. This is live show. Again, again, I set up not properly. I don't know what I mess up again, but you know what? Who's gonna call an Uber for me? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna slip here. <laughs> We're still gonna pack some items. And ship I got, it. I got kids to take to school. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. We're gonna call Uber for them. <laughs> hey, that's okay. a good business. Yeah. Uber school. Uber, yeah. I bet. Okay, good. Yeah. Uber school bus. Uber, Uber school bus. They don't have it yet. No. Nothing like that? Well, I don't think so. I've seen some people with taxis oh, drop yeah? off their wow. kids. But Okay, next item. What we got oh, here? Okay. This looks like, really? <laughs> For anybody with kids, this is the cartoon, The Little Einsteins. You know? Uh -huh. um, let's turn it on so you guys can hear it. We've got a mission. Come on, everybody. Let's take off on a new mission. We can go somewhere. We've got a mission. See? Wow. You didn't show me that part. <laughs> See? This is great and let's have fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so anybody who has kids, this is great. This is, a, this is unbelievable. Cartoon. This is how I discovered it. I tried to buy the toys for the kids, but they were they didn't sell anymore because the cartoon was a little older when mm -hmm. they were watching it. <laughs> and um so when I checked eBay, I was like, Jesus, I can't afford that for them. Because yeah. this rocket was going for over $100. You, mm -hmm. you can see the sold, which uh -huh. that isn't my sold. Yeah. Um, we can go somewhere fantastic let me rocket. turn this off. What makes this one more expensive mm -hmm. is that it's got all four figures. Okay. Ugh, let's open it up here. And the other thing is like, a lot of times you can find these rockets, but it won't have the canopy. It'll still sell for, mm -hmm. you know, 20 to 40 bucks, depending if it works mm -hmm. and all that. But with the canopy, you're up to the $7,500. With the roof, because yes. the roof yeah. is like... Because usually this just falls off. You okay. can see how easily I could, you yeah. know, and kids yeah. just yeah. lose it. Uh huh. With the little figures, Yes. you're adding another $10 each guy. You could sell these individually for 10 bucks. Okay, nice. You know? Um, but the biggest thing on this one is this little green screen. That's the most rare? Yeah, you will rarely find these with the screen and the canopy, mm -hmm. you know. Rocket, you can find them all over the place. Well, yes. not all over the place, but a lot of can them. with the canopy, even harder. With the green screen, almost impossible. Wow. You know, you could sell this green screen by itself for like $25, $40. And they go for $170. So this is actually, this is sold listing. Yeah, that's a sold listing. It's not mine, but... Wow, nice. Very, very nice. And especially, I would say, before Christmas, that must be even more. No? Before Christmas? Yeah, or all the toys. That's so, when so you maybe, sell a lot maybe of toys. So maybe, how much did you pay for? Uh, just the rocket, $3. <laughs> so you pay $3. So I know that you you have a lot of unlisted items. Mm -hmm. Maybe that should be one of your unlisted. Keep it until Christmas. That's... And then, boom, $250. Nah, I'll just sell it now. Yeah, he wants to make some kids happy or some yeah. guys happy. Yeah. 
So he's a nice guy. You see, I told you I'm gonna bring very nice guy to our live show because I will probably keep it until Christmas. <laughs> There'll be another one. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. I have three. Next. Oh, these are the figures, uh, but in a larger. I found these all together for three dollars in this bag. Mm -hmm. The only one that was missing was a uh, Quincy, and the good thing is, mm -hmm. I already had him at home. So now they're complete, and they usually sell for like between forty and sixty dollars. But that one sold listing has it showing that somebody sold them for a hundred and ten. So if anybody wants to give me a hundred bucks, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Trip Shop Hustler. Hi, hi, Trip Shop Hustler. Hi, how is everything? Welcome. I will drive you home. Oh, who said? Danny. He will drive you home. <laughs> Danny said, hi, Danny. How is everything? You should do a giveaway tonight. Giveaway tonight from what? We don't, maybe beer or something? That's all <laughs> we got here. Who wants a bull's hat? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, look, he's, he's really nice. <laughs> All good, okay. Hey, look, we'll give him the cookie. Mm hmm We got some cookie, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna continue. And next item. Oh, that's the frock. Oh, that I don't have with me, but that is my sold listing. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I paid fifty cents for that thing, and it's a uh, has to be an FAA Schwartz hand puppet to sell for that much. Any other Kermit is not going to go for that much. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, anytime you could turn 50 cents into $80, yeah. I do that all day. I wish I could find 10 of those a day. Yeah, definitely. The plush toys are really good because I remember when we started reselling business, when we started, I still go to my full-time job. Uh, we purchased some uh, some plush toy dogs. Uh, I don't know what brand it was, but dogs. And they go for $70, $80 piece. And uh, that was so good, and we thought, oh, all, all our expensive, that we're gonna make so much money because 50 cents. <laughs> so what we did, we purchased <laughs> 400 plush toys, 400, like crazy, like crazy. We purchased 400 plush toys because when we go to good, we will, we were like, so cute, so cute. So we grab it, we grab it, we grab it. Then we, you know, but some of them they sold for 30 dollars, some of them for 20 dollars, but most of them, they sold for 8 dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's most. Not worth it. Uh, but then, you know, I was thinking like, maybe it is worth it because if you're buying for 50 cents. Yeah, you'll and, still make money, but. And you're selling for $8. You could, how many? This is not 10. This is more than. For somebody who wants to start, you could go to a thrift store and you could find. Yeah. And one day you could find 20, 15 to $20 stuffed animals yeah, all it, day. Yeah. 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 You know, if you wanted to do it that route and that could be your business model, it, 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 you it, could it, do that. If you have, a, but then you must have a lot of space. Make sure you have a lot of space, yeah. uh, because it's gonna take so much space. Plush toys, you know, they they huge. Yeah. They some. I still have but, a upstairs. I have a horse. Mm -hmm. It's like this table, <laughs> horse, but I pay fifty cents. Yeah. It's a huge horse. It's like freaking it looks like a real horse, and uh, but I pay fifty cents. I thought it's gonna go fast. I didn't post. <laughs> I didn't post because I said. How I'm gonna send the thing? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. Sell it locally. Yeah, yeah, ju yeah, just the locally probably. Yeah. So I have can... a big dog like that. It's like a full size uh, dog, full size golden retriever. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I only have it on offer up and marketplace, and yeah, it's still sitting there because I don't want to ship it nowhere. Because no. yeah. So here we got. You don't have it this bottle, do you? No, that's a sold. Also a recent sell. A mm -hmm. sold that I had, and uh -huh. that's just an empty bottle of Crown Royal. I think it was like 1.75 liters, and mm -hmm. it was like mm -hmm. in a little spinning rack. Yes, yes, um, yes. I don't remember what I paid for it. Wait. Maybe $4? Can I grab it? I'm not hmm. sure. Uh, where is it? Because I found empty bottle as well that was whiskey, bourbon, something, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and that's the monkey. Oh, you're talking about those decorative bottles? Yeah, the, it's, a, it's a gorilla. Mm. Did you look it up? Yeah, $40. Oh, yeah? Okay, because a lot of those yeah. aren't worth a lot. Yeah. Another item, Lego. That's another recent sell. So this is your recent sale? Yeah. Nice. I bought that for in a whole little like mm -hmm. three different sets all together for forty dollars. But it was it was put together or you have no. to put together? Half of it was put together, I put the rest of it. Like I said, oh my gosh. I knew how valuable it was, so yeah. I spent the hour to put it together. Okay. 
And, and that was a uh, stuffed animal, you know, 50 cents to 35. Yeah, I got all day. Yeah, I got a nice story today about <laughs> this this animal. <laughs> uh, when one, uh, when one, when one today, when he showed me, when he showed me that that plush toy, that blue, what is it? It's a the stitch. Disney. Stitch? From Lilo and Stitch. That's Stitch? his name. It's from a movie. It's a Stitch? A Disney movie. That's his name, Stitch. Stitch. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, three days ago or four days ago? Something like that. Did you find like four days ago the thing? Recent. Very recent. Very yeah. recent. Three or four yeah. days. So, I was at Goodwill. <laughs> I was at Goodwill where we go together. Uh, but I was probably before. Not probably. For sure. Before one. And I go through the plush toy. I said, I have to find dog. You know, those <laughs> plush dogs. I said, I want a $70 to so find the dog. And I found this thing, the Stitch. I found Stitch. <laughs> so when I found Stitch, I said, oh, another plush toy is not worth it, nothing. <laughs> you know, so I just, I just put on couch. Did you uh -huh. find a couch? Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. on couch? Yep. Okay. So I grabbed the thing and I go to <laughs> Kelly. I th I'm not sure if I go to Kelly. Kelly, if you there, I don't, did I, did I talk to you? And I said, oh, another plush toy. Already I got like 300 home. So I just put it on a couch. And then probably you came there. You grab it. And you made $34. You just ruined my day. And First Alex. Class shipping. Yeah, and Alex, she saw today. I said, I, <laughs> and I told Alex, oh, I found this three days ago. I said, why <laughs> you didn't grab it? I said, I, I thought I, I don't want more plush toys. So, yeah, I mess up. I mess up <laughs> a little bit. But it's so much fun, you know. It's so nice when you do reselling and you can have fun. Yeah. I was putting roofing, framing together, tiles, electric. I never have so much fun as a reseller. It's, it's for still, real. It's fun. It's a lonely business because it know. is lonely. It's very lonely. So all we, all what you're gonna <laughs> you just do, have to just make friends. Yeah, you're just gonna drink beer and. But it's fun. It's you know? definitely fun. It's definitely fun. Bring back memories of things you find yeah. and. So yeah, this is this that was the last. So guys, if you have some questions, if you have some questions, guys, come on, give us some question uh, so we can answer. I know we do not have a lot of people here because I mess up a little bit, uh, but whatever. Everyone does. Yeah. And then so. sometimes you just put things back because you just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, folks, I'm a few short of one million subs. And those two should have million of subs. What is wrong with YouTube? I <laughs> share this content now. The true you, you my, you my body, definitely my friend. The truth said, I'm a few short of one million subs. <laughs> really, you have one million subscribers on your channel? I have, I have to check for real. <laughs> so I'm gonna be your one million one subscriber. I don't even know that you have a YouTube channel. So let's check the truth. Uh, 1 million subscribers and and we should have a more you know i think we should have a little bit more subscribers or because i told one that he should do his own youtube channel to help people it's coming yeah yeah it's gonna it's gonna be there to help people quit the job push forward because there's just so many youtubers over there and they just bullshitting because they want to have more more likes more views and they just a lot of bullshit so we're trying to keep it real as possible and we're showing you something for what really works. You know, like for example, beer works. Beer for works. Real. Yeah. Nazdrave. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> so uh, we want to keep it real as much as possible, have a fun, but at the same time actually have a fun as well, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I hope that one is going to create his channel. So what do you guys think? Should he open his own channel? It's going to be about toy. And the name of his channel, what do you guys think? We don't know yet. We're working on it. Yeah. Lego Flipper. I think Lego Flipper because there is not a lot of Lego Flipper on, on YouTube. No. I, I haven't seen nobody. I also want to do some some shows in Spanish. Help out the Spanish-speaking oh, yeah. community. I opened my YouTube channel in my language. Uh, I speak Russian and, and Polish and Slovak. And I speak a lot of those languages uh, because I grew up over there. Uh, I have a lot of subscribers, but those people are a little bit 
a little bit sometimes weird because they they just give you hate comments and stuff like that. You know what? Why you give me hate comments? Move on with your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to somebody else's channel. Yeah. Don't put stupid yeah. things over there. So I quit the channel. I have like 130, 150 subscribers right away, but not too many comments, not too many likes. They like just watching. Really? Okay. When he's gonna mess up? <laughs> I don't like. Waiting, I don't like waiting to hate. Wait, wait, yeah, waiting to hate. Okay. I don't like this part. So why would I do something like that? So I'm gonna try one in Spang Spanglish. It'll be half English, That'd be nice. Spanish, Spanglish. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be a work in progress. Mm -hmm. You know, but I gotta find the time too. So. Uh, keeping an eye. For the little. Yeah. Uh, Trip Shabhasar, keeping an eye out for little Einstein. Yes. What is it? Little Einstein. What is it? That's these guys. This is Little Einstein. That's Which the name one? of the cartoon. Oh, they're all of them. Yeah. This is Little Einstein. The whole cartoon. That's what it's called. Oh yeah. Yeah. You see, I grew up in a communist country. We have uh, that was the that was the wolf. He was hunting rabbit. So wolf rabbit. So those, uh, that's all what I know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know those Einstein. Yeah. No, there's a lot of cartoons. See, I know a lot of these cartoons because of my girls, which is uh, you know Lila and Maya, which. What time is it? Oh, they should be going to sleep right now. So good night. Yeah, Go who, to sleep. Who's going to sleep? <laughs> My two daughters. <laughs> oh, real ready. Yeah. All right. Look, see, they're Spanish. Orale way. Where? <laughs> right there. Fantastic Tennessee Orale. find. Oh, fantastic Tennessee find. The second one is Orale way. Like all right. Oh, orale. <laughs> ah. Orale. <laughs> good night. <laughs> and is that uh Russian Slovakian? Oh, Yavole musica Serbski. Oh, fantastic Tennessee. Yavole musica Serbski. Yeah, I like I like music, Serbian music. I really like it. I enjoy. Um, See, someone knows how to use Google Translate. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Max Power. I know for parting like Charlie Sheen, I sing like Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, good, good. <laughs> Kelly, how is everything? Things we pass on. Lo, the things we pass on. Oh, he was talking about Stitch. Oh, Stitch. Yeah. Oh, those I I I, I haven't seen them. They were over there. Hmm. Uh, in Bartlett? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can't believe it. But yeah, for cartoons, like cartoons right now, anything yes. they were into, I knew about it. And you could find, like, when My Little Pony was in. Other yeah. cartoon that's still famous and yeah. it's already old is Yo Gabba Gabba. That's a big one for kids. And you see, I that don't stuff know gets pretty expensive. It. So I think I, expensive. I have to start watching cartoons. Maybe. <laughs> Every night. So no YouTube, no reselling, but cartoons. Cartoons, <laughs> cartoons. Okay, Yolo Fire, do you keep a strict schedule of visiting the same thrift store, shipping and listing, or is it whatever you feel like? Yolo Fire, that's the question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer first and then one. So uh, because I'm doing this full time, me and Alex, we're doing this full time, so actually we treat as a real job. I mean real job. Uh, we woke up every morning, six o'clock morning. We do our thing. Like if you don't know what we're doing, you can see one of our video. It's a live as a resell, one day in a reselling live. So we're doing our thing and we trying to keep as a real job. So go to work, go to Goodwills. We have a, some route. Those routes, they change in the pens. It depends because there are some uh, some sellers, resellers, and those are we were talking before we start live. Those are there are some idiots over there who are running actually every morning. They are running, they try grab something, but the runners, and uh, because of that, I have to change and start go to different Goodwill just because some idiots. Uh, but otherwise, we have a route. We go this route every single day, and then when we get home, uh, we start do some pictures, posting. And then, you know, so that's how we treat. And we have one day off, which is Saturday. Yeah. But now when we're going to start the garage sale, so Saturday we're going to start the garage sale. So no more off again. Maybe Sunday we will see how everything's going to go. So how one, how you? Because I know you have, I have family. A you have family. Yeah, I have you two have little kids. girls. Yeah, right. And um, one of them I drop off. And then my day starts. Um, I don't really do too much thrifting because I have a backlog of inventory. So I do a lot of thrifting in my storage locker and get that stuff ready. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I want to try to just get rid of it because of garage mm -hmm. sale season mm -hmm. and you want to get to that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I do try to, I have a schedule written down to where, you know, 
obviously you have to ship, yeah. package all your stuff up, and then try to get a certain amount listed per day. And my goal is to do at least mm. 20 a day, which will give you 100 for the week if you take off mm. yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Because, you know, you're still working Saturday and Sunday doing accepting offers, doing that stuff, and packaging things mm. up. Oh. Um, but I try not to list on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but sometimes things come up. Mm-hmm. You know, you got school things. Yeah, it's a difference. If and I'm an uh, assistant soccer coach now. Yeah. I don't know nothing about soccer, but I'm an assistant soccer coach for my oldest daughter. Really? Yeah. yeah you so look that like takes it. up another, <laughs> Yeah. you know? Wow, yeah, it's it's a crazy. I didn't know, sorry guys, I didn't know that I, did I, that I didn't remove the screen from oh. there. So everything was covered. <laughs> uh, but who wants to see the ugly face, right? And especially now when I have a more beer, I start feeling this beer is working. You, oh, wait, let me grab another. Oh, you got here. Yeah, I'll Come give on. you want one of those? No, I, I still have mine. Oh. I think uh, we're we going to finish all the beer we have. That show is going to be until... Who knows? <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to see our faces. Yeah, nobody they wants to. They just want to see Alex. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> everybody wants to see Alex. Now I have a one guy. <laughs> His subscriber, he said, oh, I'm going to steal Alex to make profit. I'm going to steal from him. <laughs> I said, okay, good luck. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. Any questions there? Uh, fantastic. Uh, Max Power, I know for partying like Charlie. Yolo Dicky. What's up, Guy? Consta- Constantino. Oh, sh- <laughs> oh that's, the, that's the long name. Constantino Kovaci. What's up? Okay, how is everything? I think you are you are in Greece, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alex, diaper screen. <laughs> Alex, a diaper screen. Ne vidno tja kedi rozpravaš. Yes, Alex. I just find out, and you know why you can see me? Because we have a magic formula here, and we starting disappearing, right? <laughs> sure. This is like people went went drink, right? Drink, 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 and then you like going to different dimensions, right? Different levels. Yeah. I look, guess. look. I was born close to Russian borders. We drink, you know. Mm-hmm. We drink for real. And I remember when I was in Costa Rica, there was Russians over there. We went there for my 40th birthday. Oh yeah. So I was in Costa Rica, and uh, there was the some Russians by bar sitting, and I heard them that they speak Russian. So I started talking Russians to them, and they they said. You want to drink? I said, yeah, why not? <laughs> so they, uh, and the, the waitress, she was there and she bring the small glass, like normal shots, right? Uh-huh. And they said, not those, the big one. What do you mean big one? <laughs> those yeah. over there, those are for water. I said, no, <laughs> give out those. I'm not joking, glass like that, the big one. Oh. And uh, she fill up like half and they said, no, no, fill up. So she fill up and I, said, well, and, and I was looking at them and I said, really, do I have to? Vodka or? Vodka. Oh. You know, so people, people in the bar, they was looking and see what's going to happen, right? <laughs> and I was holding and those two guys, Nazdarovie, boom. She's, the whole she, thing? The whole thing. Ah. And, and, so, so what you going to do then? You speak Russian. You have to try to, yeah. I speak Russian fluently. You already came out like a big man. You're like the big <laughs> man, right? And that time I was like 230 pounds, big guy, right? Uh-huh. So I hold the glass and say, uh-huh. I have to, I have to. So I smash. Oh my God! I was holding right. I said, <laughs> I, said I, "I can't be like baby now, right?" Yeah, because yeah, I was yeah. like, and I was like, "Okay, how was it? Great. One more." Oh. I I said one more. I was yeah, joking. Ha- I was joking. Oh. What? But that was free bar, right? Open. So I said one more. I said, "Why not?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was joking, and then another one, right? So then I was like, oh, "That's I'm half done. a bottle right there." You would not believe it. And then drink like nothing, like water. Ugh. See? Yeah, no. I would have passed out. Re- for real, you know, they, they keep saying that Russians, they drink a lot, mm-hmm. and, you know, and but this is reality. This is true. It's a true. I would have passed out. Well, I'm not a big drinker. Uh, I almost passed out. But that time I was heavy, 230 pounds, so yeah. Yeah. But a lot of muscles. Oh. So. <laughs> my Russian, oh. Uh, fantastic Tennessee finds. That's you, right? No. No? That's somebody else? My favorite Russian rapper. Wish I knew more Russian. It's awesome language. Yeah. Russian is awesome language. The problem with the Russians was during the communists. You would not have fun because uh, they would not let you go nowhere. <laughs> you would be stuck there. That's it. That's why I don't know those cartoons. 
And if I know those cartoons, oh. I would make hundred dollars. Then yeah. you know, there's a Russian cartoon that I would sell. Uh, Which one? Masha and the Bear. Oh, Masha and Bear. Yeah, but this those, is. I think this they, is new. It's newer. Yeah, it's new. They sell like that because you can't find them nowhere. Yeah, I found them with Russian tags on them. So you can find them here. Rarely, I've only found two. Really? And they sell right away like thirty, forty dollars. So I have a really good idea. Let's bring Masha and Bear from Russia here. Go ahead, yeah. Why not? Depending on how much you can get for, yeah. They'll well, sell cheap. for thirty to forty dollars. They gotta be cheap over there. You look, this is a Russian cartoon. Yeah. You know, they have a ruble. And the it's money. a good cartoon. It's, it's <laughs> I a like good, it. It's I very like it. it's I I don't guys. Did you watch Masha and Bear? Let us know in comments if you did because we just find out that actually Masha and Bear, they are high in item. Yeah. They, they are sell, almost they like... Really good. Like a little 8, 10-inch bear. Yes. 30, 40 bucks. Really? Yeah. We have to start importing uh, the mm -hmm. Masha and Bear to the United States. Yeah. And you said it's got the Russian sticker? like The, the ones that I found had the Russian label on it. So it's got to be... The, the somebody bring from there. Yeah. It's got to be from there. Order them up. <laughs> we have to... Okay. I have to call my friends to Russia and tell them, stop sending me vodka here. Let's do Masha and Bear. It's yeah. more. It's worth it more. <laughs> Masha and the Bear. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's funny. I didn't know that. Let me just say. Do you uh, sell Legos by the pound? Uh, do sell Legos. Do sell Legos by the pound. Okay. I haven't yet, but I am going to do it for the show. I'm going to mm -hmm. separate them in colors and put them in little containers and sell them by the pound. But if you don't want to deal with the bulk, I have plenty of bulk that I am going to sell mm -hmm. by the pound. And you could get, you know, five to ten dollars depending on what's in there. Mini figures. Add it, you know. Add so how, how much is pound for? Five to ten dollars depending on what you have. If uh -huh. you put a mini figure in there or whatever, you know, you could easily get ten pounds. I mean ten dollars. Mm -hmm. And you and you was like pictures. Uh, Danny, how can you distinguish the word plush toy from the others? You look it up. How can you distinguish the the word plush toy? Okay, so how much? How you can tags? Redo your research. If it's got a tag, it's got a brand. It sometimes has a year. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Put it in the eBay and look at solds and. So you know, you know what I, you know what I do because sometimes you find some very interesting plush toy and. It's not gonna have. It's not gonna have uh, no tag. No tag. So what you do? What you do? In your phone, in the, in the eBay application, right? What you can do? You can either type the name, the company on the tab, like the search, or there's a like small camera over there, like to do photo almost. You just press that, and as you can see, let me let me see if you can see. See if it works. <laughs> Look, that's the that's the barcode. And then you can go like the camera, wait, camera, and now actually you're gonna do picture. So we're gonna try now if we're gonna find what's that. So let's see. Okay, I just made the pictures, and look, I made the pictures, and it shows me. And it's Leo. I'm Leo. You see, it shows me exactly. And then you're gonna look what's that, and it's a little Einstein. Leo, Leo, right? Yeah. Is little Einstein Leo talking though plush? So now you know what you actually found. And this is the, this one they're selling for $16, $17. So you can press and I don't know if you can see the sold listing. There's only one problem with that is you're not going to be able to see sold listing if you're going to do pictures. Uh, but you're going to know what you found by the, yeah. by the title. You're going to put the title in the search and that's how you're going to find what you actually find, you know? And sometimes with plush, mm -hmm. the uglier, weirder it is, yeah, the better chance it's going to sell. Yeah. So when you're going to find something super ugly, that means you probably got good money over there because it's an ugly toy. Like mm -hmm. the like the, the blue, the thing. That, yeah, I sold that one last week. Did you? Yeah. Uh, the, so, no, good thing is, what was it? That I had that? it listed as an original 1986. Yeah. But then somebody messaged me and said, no, that's a 2001. And I looked at the tag and it was a 2001. So I'm like, oh, crap, I better change that before yes, 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 somebody yes. buys it. And I had to lower the price because the 2001 wasn't as valuable as the 2000 or the 1986 one. Uh -huh. So I lowered the price to $70 instead mm -hmm. of 100 Yeah. And somebody bought it for $70. $70. Like I paid $0.50 cents for it. 
So, yeah, you see? 70, 100. Hey, it's still good. Danny, so start to plush toys. Your wife, she's going to be so happy. We're going to have home 500 plush toys. <laughs> You know, it's going to be so much and fun. And if she doesn't like it, at least you have some plush to sleep on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big pile out in the garage. Definitely. Uh, like, uh, I'm, I'm too fat to survive in a communist nation. I'm too fat, fantastic Tennessee, <laughs> I'm too fat to survive in a communist nation. Not really, because only those people going to survive in communist <laughs> You know, if you're fat, only fat people, because if you're not fat, you're going to start losing your bones because there is no meat anymore. So actually, no, you would be only one who would survive <laughs> if you're fat. I'm not saying you're fat, but you would survive. Definitely. Yellow fire. Would you, would you gamble with buying clothes, shoes with stains or missing button and try to fix them or not waste time and not to buy them? Uh... So this is clothes and shoes. Uh, we do clothes and shoes, and um, of course, right away when we start, I found um, uh, the shirt, and that was the Versace. Very nice shirt, Versace, black, very nice. And of course, it was missing button. So what you have to, all what you gotta do, just put in the description, and if it's worth it, if it's selling for let's say fifty dollars. You're gonna get your thirty-five dollars, you know, yeah. if because some people they are able to match somehow, you know, they're not worried too much about it. So yeah, if it's if it's worth it, definitely. If it's something what is selling for twenty dollars, no way. I would not because what you're gonna get fifteen or less or even less. Yeah. It's just not worth it. Just so many items over there. So it depends what you got, and some of the like the Burberry, mm -hmm. Burberry, we saw shirt, just the shirt, white shirt short uh and it's got big stains here like stain stains uh -huh. we sold for 90 dollars with stains <laughs> you know and the size was large i believe in some of our videos i don't know which one uh that it's a i i said i i was talking about sold listing and it was there so burberry doesn't matter stains mm. no stains but of course do not pay 20 dollars but if you're gonna find burberry in a store and it's got stain go to manager and tell them that look it's got stain can you drop the price because something similar happened to us with the what was it uh, uh atleta or or no 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 that was the lululemon i believe lululemon jacket lululemon jacket and it's got big hole here <laughs> and it was taped with duct tape <laughs> i think it was lululemon i'm not sure and it was taped with duct tape and I said, but they wanted twenty dollars for that item. So I go to the manager. They drop price twelve dollars, I guess. And we sold for I think eighty dollars with duct tape. When, when you have something like that that's like ripped or stained, yeah. do you sell it as is, no returns, or do you uh, just you know you know either way? As long as you mention in your right. you know, and it's the pictures mm -hmm. gotta be visible. So my my suggestion would be, let's say, the stain is big, like you know. Like quarter. Mm -hmm. So what you do when you do pictures, you put a quarter there, where's the stain, and make a picture with the quarter. Just to get the scale of the stain. So people, they know, you know, how big it is. Yeah. Because picture is not yep. going to show exact dimension. Right. And what, you put, put tape measure over there, put quarter over there, make a picture with the quarter, and yeah. people know if it's a bigger than quarter, smaller than quarter. So that's going to help people to know mm -hmm. the size of the size of the thing, you know, the spot. So yeah. definitely, it's, Depends what, and then with the shoes, again, it depends what kind of shoes you got. If you if you got red wings, boots, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of shape they are. They're always selling $100, $80. You can take them to the store and they'll restore them for you. Oh, yeah? Which one? Red wing. Oh, I yeah? I think they're guaranteed for life, I think. Oh, red wing? Yeah. Oh, they do? I'm pretty sure. Don't okay. quote me on it. Yeah. But if you guys find, I think you could take them to the store yeah. and they'll. If not, them for I'm going to drop it by you and you have to restore it. That's the uh, same thing with. Uh, <laughs> North Face. Yeah. Oh, oh, Alex. Alex is watching us. Hi, Alex. How is everything? How you doing? Hey, Alex. We are downstairs. We need more beer. No, we just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, salute. So. Nazdrave. Nazdrave. So, Alex, you just remind me. So, that, that wasn't Lululemon. That was actually Patagonia. And it was so for $100. I just made, made $20. You know, yeah, so it right. wasn't eighty, was a hundred dollars with the duct tape, Patagonia. So some brands they just go for good money. So yeah. doesn't matter, holes, stains, 
whatever. But just think, go. I think I just read it in our group, in our Facebook mm-hmm. group, that if you have North Face mm-hmm. and like a zipper is broken mm-hmm. or whatever, you could send it to them and they'll fix it for you. You just have to pay for the shipping to send really? it to North Face. Yeah. With North Face, for example, watch if you're selling North Face new with the tag on eBay. Your mm-hmm. listing can get pulled. And, oh, yeah? Yeah, and you can be sued by the company North Face because <laughs> North Face is really strict about selling new with the tag. Okay. Use is different. Use is different story. They will not probably mess up if you're selling, if you're selling used. Mm-hmm. You know, North Face, it doesn't matter. Uh, most of the company, they do not care if you're selling used clothing. But like North Face, if you're selling new with the tag, you are not, you know, not, uh, what you, how they call it, uh, you're not distributor. Gotcha. You do not have an agreement with North Face to resell the new with the tech, and then that you can have a big problem. So do not mess up with the new with tech, you know, North Face. Constant Lego. Are Lego bonkers worth? Are Lego Bionicles worth picking up? Um, what is it? It's another. It's Lego, but they're like no Lego. Some weird. I don't know, they're hard to explain. They're like fake Lego. No, they're real Lego, but it's like not like a system. This, these kind of Legos, mm-hmm. it's called a Lego system, and they okay. all work together. These have like weird shapes, they're almost like alien robots. Oh, okay. Um, but you still some still- of them. If you find a set that's complete, mm-hmm. you could look it up and see what it's worth. But if you buy a big, find a big bulk of it, I would just pass unless you get it like for super cheap, and you could just sell it in the. Been all together, oh, like the whole thing? Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't really like okay, it. Okay, I have some, and I have, I'm selling it in a big, mm-hmm. big bin just to get rid of it. Oh you yeah. Know? But some of them are worth money, you know. If you know what set it is and it's complete in the box, mm-hmm. I have one at home that's worth like 130. Okay. You know. Okay. Um, but usually, if they're just in bulk or in so bags, you, you would, I would pass, just pass. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Danny. But to each their own. Uh huh. You yeah. know. Danny, definitely. I'm going to do that. Thank you guys for sharing good information. So, Danny, what are you going to do? Are you going to start buying those 500 plush toys? <laughs> uh, let me know so I can prepare some room for you if your wife is going to throw you out. So, you have where to you have a place where to sleep. You said you were going to build a second shed, right? <laughs> or you can help me build a second shed. So, that's going to be your, your summer house. Uh, the true, the true. Max and Will one day... Go live. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the truth. I would definitely, if you have a channel, I have to check your channel. I have to subscribe to your channel, The Truth, uh, and see what's there. And definitely we can do live show. You already know what I'm about. Uh, you're going to know one more. Uh, he's One is just really nice and smart guy, a lot of knowledge. And just because somebody doesn't have YouTube channel doesn't mean that they don't know. There are a lot of people, tons of people who are really nice people, real people. They just don't have a YouTube channel. Uh, and I want to bring more people like that into my YouTube channel because I like people who are real and still nice. Not just crazy those it is like morning we have some resellers, they're pushers. Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the problem with those people. But definitely one, one he should have his own channel and he should provide for you guys and you provide for him because reality reality is when i create this youtube channel mm-hmm. and when the people when they send something like they they really like what we're doing mm-hmm. that's pushing you forward to do what you do yeah do a little more help do a little more you know yeah. there's plenty for everybody it's plenty for everybody mm-hmm. you know like those morning resellers they are fast they're grabbing the nasty uh, and realities after i go after them actually i found items worth it like last time that five hundred dollars radio, I found after them, because they not that they wasn't fast, they was much faster than me, but they were more lazy, for real. They didn't go behind. So you have to look everywhere. If you're in Goodwill, elect- especially electronic, and some speakers. Right the way when I started reselling, I found speakers. The white one what was the brand. Each speaker was three hundred dollars. I wow. never heard about this brand. It was like they start with Y something, I think. And that was right away yeah. when I started reselling. And there were so many people that was grabbing, you know. And I was I was I was just starting reselling, so I was like new scared. Yeah. Almost scared, right? Like I don't wanna I don't <laughs> I don't wanna offend nobody. So I was in the back and when they finished, 
I go after them, right? And there was a lot of speakers over there. And in the back, the old speaker was black. And in the back, I saw two white, like small tower speaker, right? So I found them. I grabbed them. I checked them. Each was $350. I sold them five minutes after we list them. So fast. I just couldn't yeah. believe. But what I did, because I, there was no way to check them if they work. They're special, you know, connectors, yeah. whatever, right? So what I did, I sold one, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, when I ship it, the guy gave me feedback that he loves it. It's working good, right? So I knew that, okay, good. So the yeah. next one, I raise price, <laughs> you know, because I said that was too fast. Yeah, so yeah, too yeah. fast. So if something is, if something, if you're selling something and it was sold too fast, that's showing you that you didn't list properly. The price, I mean. Mm -hmm. You you put for cheap. Yeah. You know, a lot of times happen like that. It does. It does. I'm not saying that always yeah. got to be, that's, that's always the true. But a lot of times, if you just post and you, oh, I have a good sale. But maybe you can make even more. Yeah. So always do your research before you're gonna both post something on eBay because you just never know what you got actually. All right. But then always think in the bank. You know what? You made three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. For move three on three to the three next one. Move three on, on to the next. Oh, one. I moved to the next one yeah. and sold for four hundred dollars. So that was that was nice. But right away in the beginning, so you always have to so. Just because somebody is pushing you and and okay, move out, move out because they are. They go to that good one. They like, like they told me, I'm always here. Who are you? Whatever stuff like that. I said, really? So forget about. It. So you know, uh, so because you got more knowledge, you're gonna you're gonna mm -hmm. make more money. That's all what and it is. It's like you you know some stuff. You know about yeah. certain things. Mm -hmm. But the best part about this is there is still so much more that this. you could learn. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. There's so many different categories and oh everything you can you can, yeah nobody knows every single everything. day every single day so i have to start i'm, I'm still watching a lot of channels but i have yeah. to start watching even more because you just never know what you're gonna yes. learn that day yes you're surprised at what sometimes when you sell something you're like why the hell would somebody give me two hundred dollars for that but it's like you know what you have it market demands it yeah and they want it. That's the only place they can get it. Especially used shoes, right? I sold three hundred dollars the last time. Shoes three hundred dollars, and my friend was like, "How can somebody yeah. buy used yeah. shoes for three hundred dollars?" Yeah, the new one they cost thousand dollars. Right, exactly. You know, and you know? they just like the brand. But same time, nobody's gonna buy shoes from you if they completely destroyed. And it's it's kind of just like the toys. That rocket, they don't make it anymore. If you want to find a brand brand new one on eBay, you're looking at. Three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. you know, but they don't make it. So yeah. if your kid is watching that cartoon right now, because yeah. it still airs on, you know, whatever mm -hmm. channel, mm -hmm. on the Disney Channel, if your kid wants it, guess what? Parents nowadays buy it. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you like the show, remember hit the like button. So, uh, Max. Uh, okay, different. I'm going to Alex Luna. Do you get a lot of low ball offers? I got five today and driving me nuts. Yes, welcome in the reselling business. <laughs> and yes, that's it's a true. So do not start drinking a lot of beer just because you <laughs> somebody makes you crazy. Uh, because that's gonna come with the reselling. There is gonna be because there's just so many people, so many different opinions, so many smart. The problem is there's so many smart people because they want everything free. They think that you are some kind of corporation. Yeah. Uh, but you are small business, not mm -hmm. sometimes not even business, just I'm trying to make some extra $50 per week. You yeah. know, and but those people, they're just pushing you. So that's pretty normal. But same time, be nice. Always. This is, this is my big thing in my eBay store. I'm always so nice, but I want to kill sometimes. Oh, yeah. Right? A oh, I want to... Not sometimes. A lot of times I want to kill somebody. But I'm like, shut up, Mark. Shut up, Mac. Yeah. Just put something in your ears, you know, and, and be <laughs> nice. And try be nice, right? If your temperature's on the roof. Uh, but that's how we got around 3,000 feedback right now. We have an all five stars. Yeah. 3,000 all five stars in one year. We never have negative. We never have something bad. You know, bad things happen to us, of course, like scammers, right? 
uh, but uh, last yeah. time I, it was in my video. Yeah, that's a whole another. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a scammers, right? So, but try to be always nice and you know just you know tell them. But offers are good as long as they're coming. So that means yeah. you got something. Uh, just be st stick with your price. If it's if it's you know, don't think that you have a gold. You know, it's still just yeah, the you item. Should, you should know where you're comfortable selling it at. Yeah, exactly. You know, when I get lowball offers, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, I would decline, not decline, but I would counter with something. Mm -hmm. But then I would look, one time I looked at what it was going for, because mm -hmm. this thing was there for, like, let's say three months. Let me turn off the heating. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at, um, then if you look at recent solds, and then you realize you have your listing, you know, $15, $20 above what it's actually selling for, mm -hmm. then you realize, oh, shit, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, damn, this, this offer isn't that low, actually. Yeah. It's actually kind of right there. Yeah. So what I suggest when you get a low ball offer, always look at what it's actually selling for recently, so you kind of know where it's at. But you do get the really low ball, and yeah. like he said, you actually want to just type a comment and be like, "Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. You know this doesn't even cover shipping." Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but you just say, "No, sorry, thanks." Yeah. But if it's really, really low, I do decline it sometimes. Just. Oh yeah. You know what? If they really want it, they're gonna come back at something. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Half the time, it works. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. they always come back. If they really want it, they're gonna come back for it. Yeah. You, know, you have to keep as a business. You know, you try to build something. You're trying to build business. Yeah. So right away from beginning, build nice foundation. Be nice to your customers. Because if you're not gonna be nice, you know maybe eBay they're gonna kick you out. Because they want to have just the sellers who are like kissing ass to our yeah. seller uh, buyers, you know that's what they want, and it's hard for us to be like that sometimes. Uh, but you know, I don't want to be kicked out from eBay. Yeah. You know, of course, yeah, it's, it's our bloodline. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that that's... Just, just don't take it personal. Yeah, exactly. It's a business. Yes. yes. You you would want something for the lowest possible price too, right? Mm -hmm. If you go to a flea market, somebody wants selling something for twenty bucks, you're gonna be like, I give you five bucks. All they could do is say no. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And then you meet somewhere and that's pretty much what best offers are. Somebody just trying to get the best and price exactly, they can. I would do best offers all the time. We always do best offer because you just never know. Somebody, you know, if, if you already got somebody who's interested in your item, you know, you always negotiate and let's say you're selling something for $60, but you're okay with 40 as well because you pay only 5 Right. You know? The good thing also with offers is... Like that first offer in the morning, yeah. yeah. I kind of like to think that okay, if I accept the one of the first ones at a good price, give it cheap, it'll build up for the day. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it and usually brings good energy, good karma. Every single, a lot of times, every single morning we have an offer. So when we woke yeah. up, we have some offer. So yeah, yeah. you starting your day with sale. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> it's nice. You know, and like Max said, you know exactly how much you paid for it. Yeah. So you should know. You know what? Yeah. If I could make my first. Fifteen twenty dollars right now at eight in the morning, six in the morning. Yeah, let's go with it. And let's see what happens with the rest. Definitely. Of the day. So you know, it's, it's just don't take it personal. Yeah. Danny, ha! Huh? I'm planning to build a second shed. <laughs> just read my mind. Yeah, you're gonna need if you're gonna start selling those plush toys. <laughs> Constantinos Max and one. Do you guys sell video games? My store is ninety percent retro games. Retro games. Do you sell games? I don't. I don't, you know, I have, um, I don't know nothing about video games. I, no. I have a few home, just few. Oh, I, I don't, I don't play those games. I, I just no time. I never have time to play video games. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not. Same thing. Same thing, right? Yeah, I don't play. Mm -hmm. I know some are valuable, but. I sell a lot of guitars. <laughs> I've sold I don't too. play guitars. <laughs> yeah, I've sold some of those yeah. too. Those are selling good, actually. Yeah, those. the gold with yeah, the gold yeah, trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, always. But yeah, I don't really. I bundle them and they sell like. Yeah, food. I don't think I have some video games, but not you know. Sam Kinson. What is it? Howdy. Hi. What is it? Like hi. Hi. Howdy. It's like a Sam cowboy. Kinson, hi. Howdy. Howdy. How do you do? The true. Let's make this in twenty-four. Oh my gosh! Uh, the true. Let's make this twenty-four hours marathon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go buy more beer. No, I still have a lot of liquor upstairs. We have a whole cooler over here too. For real? Well, I have like you four can, in there. Really? Yeah. Wow. 
it depends guys how long you want us to stay here do you have any more questions because now it's a now it's a time to ask us what you like to know about reselling and you know so so just give us some questions and we will see where is the where is the kelly kelly did you go already go to sleep <laughs> he's listening he's listening yeah, yeah i doubt that one. Oh yeah <laughs> no he could be he should be Does we should all be listening yeah we all should listen yeah not just alex we all should do listening you guys should all be listening while you watch this yes 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 yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> that looks good no i still gotta go home and list oh yeah yeah okay I haven't so, done my 20 yet. So guys, I think Oh, 581 shop. Nice name. 581 shop. Nice. Hi Max and guest. Hi everyone. Hi 581 Hello, shop. 581. Hello, how is everything? Welcome here. And uh, I don't know guys, if you have uh, some questions, we're going to wait a little bit 5 more minutes. We're going to wait, wait 5 more minutes. We will see how everything's going to go. This live show has been for almost one hour now. Oh, yes, wow. it, yeah, one hour, yeah, Flies one hour. By. Huh? Flies by. Yeah, right. Yeah. Nice, well, nice talking beer, right? Talking. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, five more minutes, and then we're gonna wrap out. If you new to our channel, subscribe. If you already subscribed, hit the like button now. And if you're gonna hit the like button, we're gonna salute. Are we gonna open another bottle, maybe? Nazdravi. Nazdravi, right? <laughs> he listed my shirt last week in white. Hmm? Um, Max, I met you in Downers Downers Goodwill. Oh, there's a Kelly. Few ago. See, Kelly's listing. Kelly's listing. Where is it? Oh, Kelly. <laughs> what is your what, best wait, find? Da Danny, I'm coming to you with pizza. <laughs> All right, Danny, then we'll I'm stay another to hour. Pizza and beer. Danny, uh, da by the way, Danny, he's Amazon seller. He got private label product. He's really good with Amazon knowledge. Knowledge, he's really good. Okay. He knows a lot of, about, about um, private label, Amazon. Uh, hopefully, he's going to be a millionaire in a few months. So, he's not going to leave his in chat. And then, we're going to do interview with him. He's going to become one of those Lamborghini guys. You know how you okay. see on the YouTube? Uh -huh. Those oh, young yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. Those young kids... Uh, 18 years old and they're saying life is hard life is this i know really you're 17 years old what do you know <laughs> you know Nothing. even when you're 30 you're like no i and i was 30 I, I was every year you learn more yeah all what i know i know that i don't know that's all what i know you know because you never know nope and there's still more to know and there is more. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, that was actually good. <laughs> Salud, guys. Yeah, Danny, so, I don't know. You should you should come with the pizza, I think. We're going to continue. Kelly said, you what see? is your best find? Who? Kelly. But who who best find? Or what's our best item that we found? Our best item? Brrr, I got few. I'll go with mine. Oh. Mine was uh, mm -hmm. an offer up. Mm-hmm. It was a display from Target. It was a Darth Vader, or it could have been Toys R Us. I don't know. It was a 19-inch Darth Vader minifigure mm -hmm. in a display case that was like 24 inches tall. And when you would pass by it or hit a button, he would light up, and then his lightsaber would move like this, and mm -hmm. his head would move side to side. Okay. And uh, I did pay for it, though. It was $400. Oof. But when I listed it... Okay. I sold it for twenty two hundred. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that was really wow. nice. So my best find <laughs> is Alex. <laughs> She's my best find. Yes. Great. Now you're making me look bad. You see? <laughs> no, because I was second. My answer was second, so I can think a little bit. So yeah, Alex. She's my best find, and that's really important in reselling. To have a right partner with you. Because if you have somebody who is always complaining, who is always like, why did you bring this stuff home? <laughs> why we have so much old stuff in the garage? Why we have this? Why we, you know, why we don't go on vacation? Why we don't, why we have to go or whatever? Why, have to, why you took all the room and do some pictures? Or why? If it's too much complain, you're never going to make it in the reselling business. That's for sure. Because you always have to fight. So if you have somebody like I have, Alex... That's the win. But look what Alex says. Hers is the Italian coffee maker, not you. 
Okay. Way to go, really? Alex. Really, Alex? Way to go. Really, Alex? You know what? I'm gonna sleep downstairs today. <laughs> With the plush. And beer. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sam, listen. Max, I made... Oh, okay. Goodwill, a few months ago, I, I didn't know... You had a YouTube channel. Thanks for show, Sam Knison. Uh, yes, Sam. I I don't remember you. I don't know. I go to so many Goodwills. Uh, Sam, I I do not go very often to Downers Grove. Once a while, but I know probably this is your territory over there, so I don't go there. Uh, if I'm gonna go there, I have to take my Akita. I have a big dog, Akita. <laughs> mm -hmm. Imagine you There's go a movie to Goodwill. About those. Oh yeah, oh the Hachiko. Oh yeah, that was Hashiko, Hachiko, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I have a big dog. Maybe I, I should show up in some good with my dog, Akira, and there there is not gonna be any more runners, resellers. Maybe. Or maybe they're gonna be more. One <laughs> yeah. of the one of those things gonna happen yeah. for sure. Yeah, so hi Sam. Uh yeah, I do have a YouTube channel. I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. Kelly's the one who told me about Oh yeah? Yeah. Kelly told you? Yeah. Yeah. One doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he's gonna have a YouTube channel for sure. That's true. One question before you leave. Definitely, yeah. Go ahead. That's true. Go ahead. Give me one question. Definitely. Uh, Do don't drive after the show. Dr. Daltz. Don't drive Deals. after the show. Dr. Daltz. Yes. Don't drive after the show. Mm -mm. He's going to take Uber. Alex. Italy Coffee Maker. So Alex, <laughs> she's saying that our best five was Italy Coffee Maker. Look, guys. We are in the reselling only for one year. Okay, so uh, you're going to find only what you're going to find. I do not buy a lot of things on OfferUp and um, and uh, Facebook, right? But we're going to have to start going there because there's, there's a lot. A, yeah, I don't go there, I start, but I start have to do that as well. I just need to a little push. So probably a little push would be if they're going to close all the Goodwills. So I'm going to have to mm -hmm. go there. Uh, so are the best five was probably the coffee maker I purchased for $30. And why was the best? uh because okay we purchased for 30 dollars and that was right the way why was the one of the best fine again because that happened when you when we start reselling and imagine you just starting reselling mm -hmm. you're just starting mm -hmm. probably few weeks into reselling and you're gonna find coffee maker for 30 dollars and the uh, in working condition they're selling for two thousand and broken for thousand so we sold out for around nine hundred dollars it's a good so, deal it's a great deal because yeah. right away in the beginning we had push like, you know, if you got pushed like that, you're like, really? We're going to be millionaires, <laughs> right? Because you think that always yeah. going to have those fines, right? But those fines, they're going to come or or uh, we bought nice, nice um, uh, fox. Oh, okay. Fox fur? Yeah, yeah. Fox fur. Mm -hmm. uh, we pay 70 cents. <laughs> so for 70 cents from Salvation Army, because every Saturday here, here in Chicago. Oh, 69 I've never been yeah. to one. <laughs> yeah, 69 cents. And they forgot to remove from the rack <laughs> because they supposed to remove expensive stuff. Original price was $60. That's how much they sell for. But because it was, I think, yellow tag, uh, they forgot to remove. So we were able to purchase to, for 70 cents. Nice. $300, I think, somewhere there. So that was another great find. And you're going to come across those finds like yeah. those, are, those are just great. I have another Lego one that I bought yeah. that I'm working on now. Mm -hmm. I've had it for a while. Mm -hmm. But now for this toy show, I'm doing. I'm going to do 80% Lego at the toy show yeah. that I'm going yeah. to. I bought a bin from this one lady. It was like actually like two and a half bins yeah. and some little drawers mm -hmm. for $100. And it's total, it's like 67 sets worth like about three grand. What? But there's a lot of work into that. I have to spend. I like, know. I know. I yeah. had to spend like a week of no, my time doing that. Your kids. Well, the kids. Too. <laughs> my slave labor. But they get paid. They get oh, paid. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's they nice. get paid well. <laughs> Five eight one shop. Give Alex a hello for me. She's so adorable. That's the guy I think who tried to steal Alex <laughs> from me. Five eight one shop. I'm not sure if that's you, but one of the guys he said that he's gonna steal Alex from me. Uh, 581 shop. I didn't know she had a channel. I just subbed. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> you already got her channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell her. And she's actually there. She's there. Alex, she's there. 
because she remind me what to say, what not to say. So she's <laughs> there. Uh, Sam, I was talking with you and Vladimir at Downers. Vladimir fix electron. Yeah, I know Vladimir. Vladimir does another very nice guy, very, very down to earth guy. I mean, very nice guy from Romania. Very nice guy. Uh, the problem with Vladimir always when I see him at Goodwill, he's like nothing, nothing. Why? Because Vladimir, when he started reselling, he go after electronic, right? Mm -hmm. So there was so much, and he go only one Goodwill because there was so much stuff. The problem now is not enough electronic, and if you want to make money in reselling, you're gonna have to do it, or uh, probably everything, or you can focus on one thing, but you must have a lot of from somewhere, not just be depend on, on goodwill because it's not gonna be enough yeah so if you do only goodwill like we do uh we go to more goodwills we hit more goodwills and we got our stuff we still have our stuff but we we have to move forward and we have to start go different markets and different that's the that's how we're growing you have to start somewhere with plush toy for 50 cents buy 500 pieces <laughs> then you're gonna start electronic then this 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 right and then you're gonna start by bulk stuff and then you know liquidation and then build your warehouse and then your hotels and so but you have to start somewhere the very important thing is start and don't be lazy and do not accept that something's gonna come nothing's gonna come you know and think that it's uh, like we say it's work you have it's to real work. work it's real you job have to work it is real job and that's just the fun part then you know like today i just finished my taxes there's oh, still, I paid the high taxes. You finish, I pay. The paperwork and all that that you have to do, the records you have to keep. Yeah. Sure, it's fun, but it's work as well. Yeah, yeah. A lot of work. Oh, Alex, you're so nice. <laughs> Alex, you are the man of my life. Alex, salute. <laughs> you are woman nice of my life. <laughs> hmm. I don't have it. Yeah, you I do. still have some. You do? Okay, uh... 581 shop. No, I'm female. Oh. oh, good. Okay, welcome to my channel. <laughs> 581 shop. Welcome to my channel. So, okay, good. Everything is good. Alex, question for you. Why tech? So, oh, look. Alex, she always put me in the right, you know, right direction. So that fur uh -huh. was sold for $500 and it was white tech. Nice. 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 <clears throat> For so, 69 cents. 69 cents. So we purchased for 69 cents and sold for $5. So the truth, do you, you said you have a question. So I'm going to wait for your question and then we're going to... Call the Uber. Shut up <laughs> and call Uber. Definitely. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so how did you like the show? I like it. Guys, how did you like the show? Did you enjoy? Did you have fun? Because we yeah. definitely have some fun. Uh, I really enjoyed to be here with one. <laughs> We will see how this is going to go, if he like to come back, or somehow... Should I come back? <laughs> should he come back? Leave the comment over there. If you like one, he, should he come back and bring some more knowledge, you know, more excitement, so we can talk, we can have fun. Because definitely, if you're going to know more, you can make more money, that's for sure. So, knowledge is everything. I'm losing my camera shyness. <laughs> it just took a little beer. Oh, yeah? yeah? No, you look good. You look good. Okay, the truth, I don't know if you're still there. Must be a long question. Yeah, must be a long <laughs> question. The truth. Give me give me the question. Mm. Alex, nothing. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap the show. We're gonna wrap show, finish it. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> come back one. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Kelly could join us too. Oh, yeah. He could bring the pizza. Yeah, Danny. Yes, come back. Oh, you see? Come back. Yeah. All right. Come back. Okay, Danny said, yes, come back at least once a month. Only? <laughs> definitely. 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 Yes. And hopefully next time, one is going to tell us what is his YouTube channel. That'd be nice. I yeah, can't wait. Nice. I can't wait. But guys, same time, you know, he got his family. He's not so simple like for me for example uh but you know he can do it i know that he can do it i can help him with setup everything but i'm missing so many times already uh like mm -hmm. today again it says that live is gonna be in two hours <laughs> and it is now uh so uh, right. 
you, you know, learn. we all learn, and that's that's what it is. Okay, guys, so we're gonna we're gonna finish it. Uh, okay, guys, so again, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. If you already are subscribed, like hit the like button, and uh, see you next time. So, mix profit and one one. See you next time. Take care.